Hi guys, welcome back to the second day of our Hat Yai trip. We started out with the free breakfast that was prepared by the hotel and we were reminded that everything is halal and good for us to eat. But maybe I won't ever be enough Maybe I'm not meant to find love Cause maybe if I was there would have been someone already in my life When is my turn? Cause all my friends are falling in love My turn Been waiting just a little too much For someone to tell me I'm the one When is my turn? To feel a little love in my life My turn Cause I've been feeling lonely at night Wondering if my question's being heard When is my turn? I've been trying not to be complicated Let them understand how I'm operating Or maybe I'm a little awkward lately And I don't know what I should do Another year and I'm still alone My mom's the only one who ever rings the phone Asking when I'm gonna find the one to hold When I have been wondering too Wondering who's gonna come out of the blue Love me like I ever knew My turn Say I'm the one that they choose Say that they'll love me and they'll never So we ate the porridge The toasted bread Which seem to be everyone's favorite because of this green sankaya type of spread and they also have three in one milo coffee choices that you can make at the coffee station It's inevitable that it rains that day, but we ended up getting ourselves disposable raincoats from the store nearby. After that, we make our way to the first pit stop of the day, which is Kai Tot Day Cha. If you have googled about the trip to Hat Yai or watched TikTok about Hat Yai trip, you might have come across this Kai Tot Day Cha place where their main specialty is their fried chicken, which is to be eaten with the sticky rice. Try not to be complicated, let them understand how I'm operating Or maybe I'm a little awkward lately and I don't know what I should do Another year and I'm still alone, my mom's the only one who ever rings the phone Asking when I'm gonna find the one to hold when I have been wondering too Wondering who's gonna come out of the blue, love me like I ever knew My turn, say I'm the one that they choose say They also have a lot of other choices such as papaya salad or somtam and there were a lot of people that day because it was the weekend and we ended up getting this tot mankung which is shrimp that's been minced and battered together with some other ingredients that I don't know When is my turn to feel a little love in my life my turn Cause I've been feeling lonely at night Wondering if my question's being heard it is to be dipped into this plum sauce I'm just teaching my husband on how to eat the sticky rice with fried chicken so what you do is you take a bit of the chicken a little bit of the sticky rice and then you also take some of the fried shallots before you then dip into the dipping and that's how you eat it maybe i'm not meant to find love because maybe if i was there would have been someone this is me trying to do some ootd in the rain and we are making our way to the pahurat area and we were just 
exploring the market there are a lot of things that you can buy as souvenirs or just for yourself if you wanna try some of the things that are available in the market and then as we walk from Pahurat we are heading to the Kim Yong market when is it my turn? Cause I've been trying not to be complicated Let them understand how I'm operating Or maybe I'm a little awkward lately And I don't know what I should do Another year and I'm still alone My mom's the only one who ever rings the phone Asking when I'm gonna find the one to hold When I have been wondering too Wondering who's gonna come out of the blue Love me like I ever knew my turn there are some shops that sells traditional dresses and from Kim Yong Market we took Tuk Tuk or more accurately it is called Song Tao. We were charged 15 baht each. We went to Central Festival. I really like one of the overall in this store called Prem so the fashion is like very simple, whimsical, sweet and romantic type of clothes and the price is also very affordable I always tell myself I'm doing fine I don't need help, just need a little time And then we went to the H&M I stumbled across this Blackpink collection from their H&M store Maybe I'm not meant to find love Cause maybe if I was there would've been someone and they also have is a luxury section in the middle where they sell lightly used luxury stuff or sometimes even new items that you could buy from there. And these are all authentic items. And then we went into one of the sections where they sell more street stuff. My husband got himself a hat and there are also figurine section for all those figurine collectors. You might notice that there are a lot of nail parlor there. I really like this place, but the queue is very long, so we ended up going here where I get a simple manicure which cost me 200 baht, and then my husband decided to get a manicure for himself as well, which cost him 150 baht. After that, we got a little bit hungry but we don't want to eat too much because we are planning to go to the floating market today so we took Tuk Tuk or Song Tao again to go back to the Kim Yong market we thought of getting our train ticket one day in advance but apparently they don't sell it until the day of your travel so we ended up getting a latte frappe type of drink and in the evening we finally take grab or taxi ride hailing service to the floating market I'm 
my mom's the only one who ever rings the phone Asking when I'm gonna find the one to hold When I have been wondering too Wondering who's gonna come out of the blue Love me like I ever knew Matt, say I'm the one that they choose Say that they'll love me and they'll never move on That's all I find But no there's a bridge where you can take photos It was so lively there There is a stage where you can go and karaoke and it's like a mini version of floating market experience in Bangkok. We ended up getting the quail eggs when I was around 7 or 8. I always eat quail egg every time we go and visit my grandma in Thailand. And then we finally got a table. So this is a boat noodle with jade noodle. That's why the color of the noodle is a bit different with some beef pieces. And this is, I'm not sure what this is called in Thai, but where I'm from locally, we call it Apam Bakok or Apam Bangkok. And this is the traditional kanum croak, but this one is just the plain one with some sugar. We also got ourselves salapau, Malaysian usually call this pau. So I've been getting bags under my eyes because I've been staying up too late. There is actually another section near the floating market where you can walk up and see more food and more stuff to buy whether i should just confess or hide it tell myself it's for the best but either way i go i know you're never gonna feel the same so i drink my coffee it's finally dark and we are slowly making our way back to the city center I wanna fall asleep, but I shouldn't fall asleep this time. Well, I ended up getting this traditional Thai snack, which is called Kanom Bung. We're finally back in the Lee Garden Plaza again, and I was determined to get this oyster omelette before we go back to the hotel. These are for the people who love exotic food, some bugs and I don't know what else is on there. And then we stopped by the convenience store 7-Eleven to get my mom her favorite jelly. Everything that's halal is clearly stated on the packaging, so you have nothing to worry about. And these are some yogurt drink or milk. These are the travel size skincare section that you can also buy for yourself or as a souvenir for the women in your life. And here is what the oyster omelette look like. We 
we also got a banana flavored milk from 7-eleven and we also got the seaweed chicken which you can actually ask for the cashier to heat it up for you there's not much happening on the last day we were in Hat Yai because we had to catch an early train so we had breakfast as usual and we were walking back to the train station when we arrived at the train station we were told that there was an accident so we are not able to take the same type of train that we used to travel from Sungai Kolok to Hat Yai so we ended up taking the normal third class train with free seating which cost us 42 baht each And when we arrived in Sugai Kolok, we didn't go back to Malaysia right away. We went to have our lunch at the Mark Dang place. Mark Dang is sort of a more proper restaurant, so everything is not as cheap as the street food. So I drink my coffee harder iced to get it is a dining space that has been there for a long long time ever since my grandfather on my mother's side is still alive so i was determined to take my husband there because it's another place that is nostalgic to me and i can't help but wish that all my dreams came We ordered green tea and of course the Thai milk tea. I'll make it any easier for me to stop dreaming by you. And when you come to Thailand, aside from Tom Yam, Gang Som is another cuisine that you have to try. Malaysian equivalent would be Asam Pedas but I wouldn't say that it is exactly the same and this is our second dish which is prawn in tamarind sauce topped with some cashew and this is one of my favorite lemon cream chicken that is a must have every time you go here oh boy, just wake up and I'll make it true. my husband also ended up getting this kana plakim which is a stir fry vegetable Malaysian call it kailani kamasin and that is basically the end of our trip we took another motorcycle ride hailing from Mark Dang to the immigration point and we were charged from Mark Dang to immigration 100 baht each and then we safely made it home the total cost for the second day is 3869 baht in Malaysia ringgit it is 506 ringgit and as for US dollar it is 116 and now to the finale the total cost for the three days two nights trip in Hat Yai slash Sungai Kolok it is 9876 baht in Malaysia Ringgit, it is 1,284. Finally, in US dollar, it is about 293 
dollars for three days and two nights trip in Hat Yai for two people. I hope you guys enjoy these videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!